All right, guys, so hold on, Ethan. Or you can be working, but just try not to be loud. All right guys, so welcome to day number nine on this bus conversion project. We're actually moving along very quickly. I wanna kinda of give you a, a walk around the bus to show what's going on on the outside in the bays. So Ethan right now is working on our propane bay. So we're gonna be putting in two 30 pound propane tanks that mount on a, on a bracket. They wanna be able to easily take their propane out if they're stationary, go get it filled up and bring it back so they don't want a mounted propane tank. It's not a bad idea. We're gonna be installing these in these bays. This is gonna be a vented bay to the outside. So if there's ever a leak, that propane is gonna vent out. <laughs> oh, don't work over it now. Okay. Can I screw these okay. in now? So we also have this propane outlet box that we picked up on Amazon. And that's gonna be mounted right behind Eliana here in that hole. And what that's gonna do is enable them, if they wanna have a barbecue, a portable barbecue out here, they can simply plug it in and they've got propane. The other side of this bay is solely gonna be for storage. They actually have a lot of storage in this bus. They've got almost this entire bay and this entire bay here. Come on over here. Julie is working on the electrical right now. We've already ordered a very massive <laughs> Battleborn and Victron electrical system for this bus. Two 5,000 watt inverters and six of their 300 amp hour batteries that are gonna be going in here. We've got a Norcold fridge, 12 volt refrigerator. It's the same fridge that we have in our current bus that's gonna be going into this bus. We've been really happy with our fridge. So as you can see, we got our coffee truck parked in here. Okay, the first bay here is gonna be our water, gray water, sewer bay. Ashton's in here actually stripping all the wires that have ran from all over the bus. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. Right here, we have our precision temp RV550 NSP. We've put a precision temp in every single bus conversion except one that we've done. We got this really cool um, waterproof boat decking material. We thought it would be a good idea to put down, this is where our water tanks are gonna go. Our sewer tanks gonna be hanging up here. This is where our mini split outdoor unit is gonna go. So we're on the other side now, the wall that Ethan was working on. This is gonna be, again, just lots of storage. All right guys, so this is all of our solar panels. We're gonna have 16 solar panels going on the roof of this bus. They're all 200 watt solar panels, so they're gonna have a really nice solar system on the top of this bus. Not only that, but they're gonna have Starlink on the top as well. All right guys, it's time to surf, let's go. Most companies you order from will actually help you out even with your uh, laying out a diagram. Battleborn Batteries, who we ordered all of our uh, solar controllers from, our batteries from, our inverters from, they actually work together a, a diagram for us to follow. So those of you who have never done solar panels before, it's it's really not as hard as many think it is. Butyl tape, butyl tape. We're just taking some butyl tape, putting under each foot before we put our screws in. This will ensure we have a watertight seal. This is how I've always installed all of my solar panels and I've never had one leak yet. Eliana. All right guys, so we got our last run of our eight panels on this one side. And then we have another run of six panels still to do on the other side. And then all the solar panels on, are installed on this roof. 